My name is Greg Garrett. I do a lot of study of how they do economic development in this city and in Rhode Island. And it's really a kind of strange process that's basically built on how do we do real estate speculation and how do we make health care and housing unaffordable. That's our economic development strategy. We need something much better than that. And we do need a port that actually is a port, especially as Doug pointed out with sea level rise, good ports are going to be really hard to find. And as much as the economy is going to crash, um, we're still going to want to trade. We're still going to want to send things out on boats. So, you know, but if you, if you put all of your economic development into trash, you know, into, you know, quote unquote recycling, which is basically just throwing it away, I mean, you're doing really bad things to your community, you know, and, and all, all of that stuff. And, you know, it's like, what's the biggest export from Rhode Island right now? It's scrap metal. That's all they do. They're tearing us apart to send it overseas because that's their economic development strategy. So we're going to need to do things around cumulative impact. We're going to need to do things around that if you do economic development, it actually has to heal ecosystems as well as end poverty because if it doesn't do both, it never works. So um, I'm happy to help. I live in the city. I will be at whatever I can get to. I'm in touch with a lot of people. I'll, I'll do that. I'm going to try to bring more of the regular environmental community in on this. You know, they're, they're always so busy that they can't always get out of their own way and, do, and see what, what's coming down the pike. They had the same problem with Burrowville, but eventually they rallied. And that, I think, is a good example for it. The people in the community rallied real hard, and they fought real hard and they stopped a really bad project. And this one, we're going to need to get them to start passing cumulative impact laws, and we're going to need to start thinking about the big picture of sea level rise as an economic development issue. So, so um, let's do it. And, and Monica is, is doing such amazing work, and you know we're all taking notice. In fact, I'm, I'm one of the things I'm here to do tonight, to try to get her to, to speak at an event I'm organizing. <laughs> we're even offering to pay her. So <laughs> that's what our is. But you know, it's like this is what what's going on is that people are starting to understand that that our economic development is going to be very different than what the neoliberals yeah. and the Joe Paolinos tell us it should be. And so. We have to do that fight. Exactly. Thank you. All right. So.